Chris, uh, in your view, how has Novak Djokovic been received this year in Melbourne as he set out to accomplish the historic 11th and 25th Grand Slam in Melbourne? I think he's been very well received. I mean, I think people have grown to appreciate his love of the tournament. I think also how important it was for him to be here two years ago when he came in those controversial circumstances and then was thrown out and was determined to win last year. I think, although not everybody would agree with the stance he took, I think that's made him very popular in terms of his his love for Melbourne, his love for Australia, his wish to win this tournament. And he's had a lot of support. Some of that has been Serbians living in Melbourne. We know that there are a lot of them, but I still think there are a lot of people here. They know enough about tennis to know that this guy is, if not the greatest of all time, certainly the most complete player of all time. And they're really enjoying watching him. In your role as executive editor of AO Radio, which trends have you seen dominate the agenda and how do you see them influencing what is to come? I think tennis has moved into a new level of physicality. I mean, the, the movement of players, the, the way they hit the ball. I mean, a number of matches have stood out for me, but two in particular, uh, Diminor against Rublev and then Rublev against Sinner. Fantastic matches. And I was commentating on them. With, we commentate at ground level. And so we see the players moving. And I watch and I think, these are superhuman athletes. My worry is that it will take an awful lot out of them. They have such good tennis shoes these days that they can survive on a hard court with this level of physicality. But what is it doing to the bodies? Is our careers going to be shorter? Do we have to find a way of making players able to compete without being quite so physical? I think those will be the challenges. But I do believe that tennis has become even more physical. And, and in terms of pure achievements on a human level, I take my hat off to all the players we've seen this fortnight. Thank you. And of course, the penultimate question tomorrow, semi-final Djokovic versus Sinner. How do you see this match shaping up? It's in Djokovic's hands. I mean, Sinner is playing well enough and had those two victories against Djokovic at the end of last year. For him to have a chance, it's absolutely clear he has a chance. He's playing very well and Djokovic will have to be close to his best. But for me, those two victories from Sinner were best of three set matches. This is best of five. Djokovic is a master of best of five because he paces himself so well throughout these tournaments. And I think that Djokovic has the edge on this one. Also, there's one thing I think Sinner is still lacking. Even in an era when all the players tend to play strokes similar ways, big forehand, big two-handed backhand, big serves, there is still a place for flair. And if you're going to win a Grand Slam tournament, you have to have a bit of flair. Djokovic has it. Sinner will eventually have it. I don't think it's there yet. And I think if it's a close match, Djokovic will just have the edge on experience and that indefinable flair. Thank you very much.